Do you ever imagine the future? What would it look like if our world keeps getting hotter and hotter? What happens if all of our weather changes? What happens if we don't look after our planet? I'm Adam, and I'm a scientist who studies our environment and our climate. And I think about these questions every day. But before we can think about our future, we first need to understand what our island was like in the past. 10,000 years ago, before any humans lived here, Ireland would have looked very similar to this. In fact, the vast majority of the island, around 80%, would have been covered in trees. Today, just 10% is forest. Where once there was lush green forest, there now is this. Towns and cities with cars. Lots of cars. The problem we have is that nearly all of these things rely on the burning of fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and gas. When these are burnt, they create what are known as greenhouse gases. These greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, are released into the atmosphere, where they trap the sun's heat, like a greenhouse does. Not only do they make the planet hotter, it also makes our weather more extreme. With storms and heat waves that would have happened maybe once every hundred years, happening a lot more often. In fact, some predictions have shown that parts of Ireland may be underwater by the turn of the century. Not only that, but the west coast of Ireland may be at risk of hurricanes reaching our shores if we don't stop the planet from warming further. But here's the good news. There are lots of things we can do to help prevent climate change. Sitting on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean and surrounded by sea, we are in a perfect position to harness tidal and wind energy. Within the next eight years, Ireland aims to be producing 200 times as much energy from renewable sources. So, Ireland's energy supply would no longer be contributing to the warming of our planet. Another way that we can help stop the planet from overheating is by planting lots more trees and by restoring wild places. You see, trees are like the lungs of our atmosphere. They breathe in carbon dioxide and store it in their trunks, helping clean up the atmosphere for all of us. Farming accounts for around a third of all of Ireland's greenhouse gas emissions. And there are so many ways that we could change our farming practices to capture greenhouse gases instead of emitting them. So what does the future look like? Well, we're already starting to get a glimpse of it today. Vertical farming is springing up in more and more places. This is where crops like lettuce and herbs are grown stacked on top of each other and where LEDs are used to create artificial sunlight to make them grow. Not only does this reduce the amount of land needed to grow all this food, it also helps cut down on the so-called food miles. That's the amount of transport needed to get the food from the farm to your dinner table. We all love dreaming of getting away on holiday. But unfortunately, at the moment, if you were to take just one flight across Europe or to America, it would emit just as much as all of your emissions for the whole year combined. The good news is we're starting to see the rollout of small, fully electric planes that can travel a few hundred kilometers. That means that soon we could be seeing fully electric or even hydrogen fueled commercial flights that could take us all over the world, drastically cutting down on our emissions. We're moving in the right direction and we all have a part to play to make sure we create a better future for everyone. What solutions will you come up with to help restore nature? or to create new technologies that enable us to do amazing things while taking care of our planet. If you can imagine a better future, you can build a better future. And the future is ours to create. <laughs>